No one needs an elephant tusk but an elephant. And yet, 100 elephants are killed in the wild every day for their ivory. So are three rhinos for their horns and 300 pangolins for their scales and meat. In fact, thousands of endangered wild animals and plants are trafficked every year, dead or alive, to satisfy the demand for use in traditional medicine, for objects to show off wealth, high-end furniture, and the exotic pet industry. This growing demand for wildlife and timber products, especially in Asia, is fueling one of the largest illicit trades alongside firearms, drugs, and human trafficking. Illegal wildlife and timber trade, valued at around 200 billion US dollars a year. Wildlife trafficking is a transnational organized crime which negatively impacts biodiversity, national security, socioeconomic development, and local livelihoods to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars of economic losses. Trafficked wildlife also does not pass through proper hygiene and sanitary controls, potentially contributing to the spread of diseases. In fact, Ebola, SARS, and COVID-19 are all believed to be associated with diseases originated from wild animals. But how is wildlife illegally traded from source to market countries around the world? By volume, container shipping is the most commonly used method because of its cost effectiveness, the ability to ship large quantities, and the low likelihood of detection. All these factors are facilitated by established networks of corrupted actors along existing trade chains. The process generally starts with an overland journey to reach ports of exit, where vulnerabilities in legal transport routes and services are exploited by criminal networks. Knowledge of up-to-date red flags and high-risk routes for wildlife trafficking helps customs with better targeted cargo risk assessment and other staff working at the port to detect additional possible illicit activities. Proper examination of shipping documentation helps to identify anomalies such as discrepancy with weight and cargo appearance, questionable paperwork, such as use of photocopies instead of original documents or incomplete information of the commodity being shipped and consignee. And questionable shipping, as in when a shipping route is abnormal for the product and destination, or a change of route once the ship has left port. Private companies run the risk to be unwittingly implicated in illegal wildlife trade, but they can also play an important role to prevent it detect it, and report it, thus helping customs and other law enforcement doing their job best. Applying know-your-customer-best practices and proper due diligence on shipments, along with corporate policies for zero tolerance towards illegal and corrupted activities, are critical steps to protect businesses from exploitation by traffickers. The illegal wildlife trade impacts biodiversity, human health, national security, and socio-economic development, and lines the pockets of organized criminal groups, often also involved in trafficking arms, drugs, and humans. No country is left untouched. Disrupting the supply chains of these transnational criminal networks, especially at bottlenecks such as ports, remains the most effective course of action, and both the private and public sectors working along the maritime shipping supply chain have a responsibility to do their part while collaborating to effectively close loopholes and prevent or detect illegal wildlife products. As we all know by now, our lives, livelihoods and health, as well as the lives of future generations, depend on a healthy environment. Wildlife and ecosystems are simply worth more alive for everyone.